It's not fine. No, can we, um... Can we, um... Okay, let's... Th okay. We're back, by the way. We're back, by the way. Before we move on... Well, I can keep some of that in, because we were talking about stuff. Yeah, can you put... Alright. Can, can we start another session? Um... Because we've been recording for two hours. Aim for almost two hours. Yeah, do you... Do you want to just like call it a day? Well, call it a day. No, you re you're called a day, or at least let me get my uh my vi or at least maybe let's restart the and maybe fix up so I can see. Because I can't see anything. It's, blur it's, it's, it's like it, this is worse than 144p. There we go. Yeah, I can just reset. Yeah, if it happens the, uh, again, just do that, okay? Yeah. You want to right, you you call it? You want to just start a new recording? Uh, well, I don't have that. That's kind of pointless. We can just keep going. But um, how long is the mysterious tower exactly? Five minutes, not even. All right, we can just end it off with this. For the day, or just for the, the or for the session. The uh, day, cause uh, it's getting late, and I'm getting a bit tired. Oh yeah, it's like oh yeah, it's like 10 p.m. where you are. Yeah. We've been doing a lot of progress, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, this place is a stupid thing in Kinemas 2. Are you talking about the freaking... Um, uh, Mushroom harvest. Oh god. You must have traded in that at Cadaver today or something. Oh yeah, they use that again in Dream Drop Distance, don't they? Hey. Oh yeah, that's how, I think that's how Mickey gets them so fast later in the story. Oh no, well I was... Thinking about Donald and Goofy during the like. Oh like, yeah, the end yeah. yeah, yeah. They never like say it. Like they never say they're using it, do they? But they just right. Kind of are. Right. Don't go in the tower right away. Okay. There's some, tre <laughs> there's some treasures around here, but I think there's some hair raisers. It's a very small area, so don't worry. Was it loads? Okay, loads. Doo -doo. Okay. okay, turn around. Okay, turn around. Hey, hey, balloon letter. I never used to get those do. Mm. Well, I never bothered. I, I've been. You know, something I probably. Oh. Oh, no, oh, look over here. We got a new guy. Ah, oh, these guys. Yep. The, bl the blue ones. The red. The <laughs> Sorry, I'm being all, I don't even know what I'm saying now. Oh yeah, that's called the blue sea salt. Oh, man. It's a great <laughs> freaking Namor and your sea salt ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Oh. The last one, and when we get to it later, is the yellow ones. Um, those are, well, the yellow ones are called um, uh, yellow mustard. F funny f uh, thing, uh, little um, other side, thing other about- Other side of the stairs. Other side of the stairs. Other side of the stairs. You had it. No, the staircase. Oh. Oh, you had it. Sorry. You were, so you were gonna say? I was just gonna say like uh, a little fun fact about like just the Kingdom Hearts series. Like, um, I think was it Tetsu yeah, Nomura like had sea salt ice cream one time. In, he, yeah, one Disney, time in, and he in Disney Japan. And yeah, and he loved it so much that he wanted it to be like a reoccurring theme in the series. Especially when you play three five eight days over two. Oh yeah, I haven't even played it, and I I know some of that like how some of how crazy it can get. Well, they have it pretty much every day. Yeah. Also, never how did you get in here? I don't, I don't know. Yes. Well, Mickey probably didn't leave the door locked when he ran. <laughs> By the way, people, Yen said backwards. Is is so, is Yen said is Disney backwards? I thought it best to seek the counsel of one wiser than myself. I am no longer. Thanks, Hellfire so comes. Yeah. I doffed that <laughs> But sir, that's how I think. No, wait about. a minute. Does this yeah, mean yeah, Master in, in Master Yen said he actually used, used to use a keyblade? You refer to Mickey. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's been theorized. Like uh, the. Uh, was it the keyblade that Mickey's using in this game? Is. Like, some people like to believe that it's meant to be Yensid's. Huh. And, like, uh... He, he gave he gave it to Mickey for him to, uh, 
to train, I guess. And then well, I guess it, I guess it doesn't make sense because when you, in Kingdom Hearts 2, when you get the drive, when you get when you get the Valor form for the first time, you also the the extra keyboard you get with that is the Star Keeper, which is what Mickey was using. Yeah, and, the, and it also makes sense because like, in Kingdom Hearts one and two and all that, you Mickey has a different keyblade. Well, that's so. well, that's yeah, that's, that's Kingdom Key D. Yeah, which is the dark version of the keyblade, basically. Good what she found in the realm of darkness. Yeah. Master Xehanort and the Unversed are connected somehow. I was. You don't say when someone evil like like when someone like Xehanort has a name when without the X and. I can't believe they don't even realize like how much Xehanort's a bad guy like. Uh, well, it, well yeah, if you get rid of the X in his name and scramble it around, like the organization names, it spells no heart. I had hoped to say an I mean, I can kind of excuse, uh, like, Palp Palpatine in Star Wars, because he kind of hides it well most of the time, mm. but, eh. But yeah, Xehanort is just, like, obvious. You can't, it's like, it's like, it's, it's like Garrett too... in Fire Emblem Fates. I'll take you away uh, for you, it. Have you ever seen the trailers for Fire and Fates where it like shows the guy like you are my child now? Isn't that yeah? That's like Garen. He, that's like, Garen. He's the obvious bad guy. Come see me ah right. Who also has two beard colors, by the way. <laughs> I, no, I think we can do the, the other area first, and it, it's it's it, it just a cutscene. Oh, okay. Get your popcorn, people. Nom nom nom. I actually thought of doing that. Also, the first time I went to I this place, I thought that was Pride Lands. That I yeah, actually, I never thought of that. But um, no, I literally thought that was the Creek Keyblade graveyard. I was like, why am I at the end of the game already? What's going well, you're on? Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> you know. Mm. You're not. Well, you're not completely wrong. Right. Because it says the exact uh, same spot, and it literally is just a cloud covering the keys. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the lingering wolf. Oh, fight. God, don't remind me. <laughs> this is also where you put the Benitas remnant, if I remember correctly. Swear <laughs> alert, Benny, this is the name we're going to hear in this cutscene. I have been to other worlds. I know all about the things you've done. I just don't understand. Punch bag, dark skin, Punch evil looking eyes, evil black clothing. Someone had to safeguard the light. Evil eight. Menacing, menacing voice. Very good voice, actually. Yeah, like, we mentioned it in the, like, one of the earliest parts, but, yeah, the voice actor did a really good job with Xehanort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, uh, like I said, it's letting me more rest in peace. He's probably the, yeah, he's probably the best voice in the game, honestly. Yeah, the best original voice. Yeah, original. Yeah. Speaking of which, actually, um, what do you think about the young Xehanort in, in Green Drop Distance? Uh, oh, what, the, with the whole 13 vessels and all that? Well, well like, well, voice, voice, and, voice appearance and, and all that. Uh, well, Xehanort in Dream Drop, Drop Distance is the uh, same voice actor, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, well, the, well, the uh, the Master Xehanort, I'm pretty sure it's the same voice, because it sounds pretty much the same. Yeah, yeah, yes. but, yeah um, you, can't, can't, you have to keep, I keep reminding myself, there's multiple kinds of, like, ways we can describe Xehanort. There's the young Xehanort, there's Master Xehanort, which we're looking at right now. Yeah, and other, Master Xehanort. other ones may be a bit spoilers if we mention it now. We'll try but... not to, we'll, we'll try to avoid saying that, but I hate, I hate, I hate the boss, by the way, because he... The, what the one the one we're talking about can cure. Yay! Oh man, screw uh, Don't up. even get me started on that... Young Xehanort. Huh? Young Xehanort at the end of Dream Drop Distance. Uh. He can use the reverse. He can use a basically reverse time thing to, to basically he could full oh. heal. Oh, that book. Well, I haven't played it yet, so I don't I don't have any experience with that. Okay. But in terms of the voice. It's all right, but it's a little like Aqua is a little bit too deadpan. Yeah, it's not. Well, it's at least, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I just can't wait. I've seen Terra's keyboard here. I just can't wait till we get into the Earth. 
Oh man. You know his canning keyblade? Yeah. Because that's what he uses in the um, final boss in, in when you fight Lingering Will. Oh boy, yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Um, we're gonna later in the story, we're gonna get a keyblade called the Chaos Ripper, which is the strongest physical keyblade in the game. But but honestly, I find it kind of useless. Huh? You know why? Because it gives because it gives you a magic because it, it gives you negative magic. What's your name? What? Yeah, I think it gives you like a negative free magic. Screw that. Yeah, you know, damage output is nice, but I'd rather be able to, you know, use my use more than just physical attacks. Yeah, same. Well, I mean, I like a good balance. Yeah, well, like, in Kingdom Hearts one and two, I actually I always draw the magic. But hmm. still, actually, well, in Kingdom Hearts two, I take the um, the, I take the defense, I take defense as my priority. Who is that? Right. No, I healing a hit is fine, and but I'd rather take a hit. I mean, if you had like the defense boost in this, you probably wouldn't have died earlier at the beginning. What did you do? <laughs> oh, I gotta go stir the sauce again. I, I just asked him some stuff. Ventus cannot tell you anything. Because he cannot remember anything. Ventus can't take a break, man. Like. It's, if it's not the command board, it's the cutscenes. Master, why is Benita still free? Uh, yeah. Well, I did my best to contain oh, him. Oh, I have to lie now. Okay. <laughs> he managed to escape. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I forget how this is basically. This, this is one of the more longer cutscenes in the game. Yeah. It's like uh, it's not Metal Gear Solid bad, but. Oh man, no. I've. Have you seen told. one cutscene in Metal Gear Solid 4? No, I haven't really seen. I I've only seen like some of the Johnny's reviews of the series. I, I watched the full long play of Metal Gear Solid 4. One cutscene took oh. an hour. What? To be fair, Metal Gear Solid is a game more for the story. Continue about but yeah. it goes on. But it definitely emphasizes the joke of like 80% game um, story, 90 and 20% gameplay. Jeez. I'll, uh, I do. I, I do love the story though. So. Mm. Yeah. It does kind of. That's probably the main thing that like kind of turns you away from Metal Solid. Yeah, kind of like. I mean, I'm all, I'm all for like story, like good stories in video games, but. It's a. I think it's Don't a worry, bit Master. much, but that's just me. No, actually, I just realized. Um, once you meet the next level, it's we're it's the first half of the game. Really? No, the first part of the game. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> if it is the first half of the entire game, that'll be nuts. Do you want to call it here? That's uh, Radiant Garden, isn't it? Yeah, that's Radiant Garden. And that's like. Yeah, yeah, let's stop it here, because that's going to be that's, that's a gonna lengthy take a little bit. part. Yeah, I'd rather do that later. So let me just check to see if everything's complete. I'm surprised that we managed to find everything so easily. Well, two heads... Generic expression, but two heads are better than one. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so we're going to just say... Oh, look, that's like a black... Well, kind of a black hole. Oh, yeah, we can see... Yes. If we look over there to the right, we can see the other worlds. Yay! Screw the one on the right here, especially as Terra. Uh. I just save quickly. You know, um, I know when we're probably jumping the gun again, but I just remember I think we only fight Vanitas once. As Terra. Well, good because screw that guy. And yeah, I think it's only during the final. It's well, it's not in the final with. Ba yeah, there's no dark, there's no dark battles or anything. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Show time. Show time. I love that, and especially in um, in Dream, in Dream Team when you do the giant Bowser fight, he, he, he actually says show time. Nice. Anyways, though, uh, thanks for watching uh, this session. <laughs> I'm bad at ending these, but yeah. Yep. And, yeah. Next time we're gonna do Radiant Garden. Yep. See you guys then. Bye. Peace. Adi